Hi, I'm back. In June this year, I made a video talking about God's anti-cheat. I concluded it was a total money grab that couldn't even detect features on vanilla settings, and I was very disappointed. I made a video where I messed around with Remix client in the anti-cheat test server. Nor721, the anti-cheat developer, posted a comment saying that the anti-cheat was still in beta, saying that it was my fault and that I made misleading content. He ended up striking my video, and I made another video talking about the comment exchange that was made before he got striked. The strike is technically legitimate, as I did use the thumbnail from the official God's Eye trailer video, but honestly I think YouTube should have handled it better and allowed me to change the thumbnail and given me a 24 hour period to do so instead of taking down my video. Now that God's Eye has been fully released, it is time to test out how much it's changed. Apparently the test server got privated, so I had to join their Discord server and make a support ticket. They messaged me saying that I was granted access to the server for a mere 15 minutes. Time to speedrun bypassing. Okay, oh my god, oh my god, okay, so, no phone, fucking high pixel, um, timer speed, timer speed, timer speed, timer speed, invalid position, velocity, step up, uh, fucking put that shit on NCP, right? Okay, wall climb, mode, clip, clip mode, fast, okay, kill all things, fucking anything will do, this is a piece of shit, okay, I'm logging out, this shit retarded. Well, that is something I don't want to experience again. Now, that doesn't prove that the anti cheat is a scam, you're technically still receiving a service for your money. But here's where you're wrong. On their Discord server, I noticed they are charging more to be able to use the anti-cheat on more than one IP address. On the Spigot page, the IP restriction isn't mentioned anywhere, so that is potentially not allowed. There is also God's Eye Professional, which gives you nothing for another $20, more than the anti-cheat itself by the way. This really looks like one of them email scams where you send money to a Nigerian prince and they ask you for more. I'm putting a question mark at the end because what I'm about to show you is to me not definitive proof that the anti is skidded, but I'll let you make up your mind about that. On his GitHub profile he has a fork of record bounce and no cheat plus, a free client and free anti-cheat respectively. This is usually the result of cloning the repository. I'm not saying that by cloning no cheat plus he automatically stole code from it and put it in his own anti-cheat, but the fact that plenty of NCP bypasses like Jesus and Nofall work, it doesn't really make his case any better. Something else worth mentioning is that he asked questions in basic anti-cheat development videos at the time of his first anti-cheat trailer video. Keep in mind that programming does have a learning curve and asking basic questions doesn't necessarily make you a paster, but there is more proof of him pasting in his anti-cheat source code, where he uses an oddly familiar naming scheme. But then again, this could all be coincidence. I think you could tell by now that I strongly advise against buying this. There's plenty of anti-cheats that do a better job for less money. Shout out to Justo for helping me make the original God's Eye anti-cheat video and to Duke Impro for reversing God's Eye. That is it for today, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. What's up, bitch? <laughs> Damn.